Hey, hey, crafty peeps. Tis I, Randy Strand, here today to do an unboxing of a Dreamer Designs. I bet you can never guess who the artist is. It is none other than Curtis Reykovich. That's right. It is a 60 by 80 centimeter and it is around. So let's get to it. Hope you guys are doing well and having a good day. I have been very busy. Christmas is upon us, so let's get into it. As usual, it always comes in this bag. Oh, sounds like something is loose in here. I hope not. Then we have our canvas and we've got the toolkit, which that may be what I'm hearing. And we have a one bag of drills. So let's see here. In the toolkit, you will get, see this is all tied up in here and I always hate taking extra time for those of you that diamond paint, but just in case somebody is new, I will give you a quickie view of what's inside here. So we've got two pins. We have one that has a plastic tip and one that has the little brass tip. We have some wax. That's probably what I was hearing. This is unscrewed a little bit. It's got the Dreamer Design logo. I think you get two of those. Yeah, you do. And there's two trays, two squishies for the pins. We've got a little thick three-placer right here. And we have some tweezers, very sharp tweezers. Some baggies that are in another bag. And then we have a straightener and a thick six-placer. All right, enough of that. Let's get into the good stuff. So let's open this up. They always tie it with a little purple ribbon. This is poured glue. So what I'm going to do is I am going to unroll it and then wrap it, roll it back on itself. It also comes with this little sponge thing in there. So. I know I always say this, but their canvases are very stiff. So that is why we roll it backwards to get it to flatten out a little bit quicker. All right. Okay, this is gorgeous. Her facial expression, it's just so soft and pretty. I love how her hair looks like it's blowing. It's really pretty. She looks like she's got like a little feather, I don't know, jacket or dress on or something. And then I don't know if this guy is a flying lizard. I don't know what you would call that. I'm just gonna call it a flying lizard. Her lips are just so full and pretty. I love the eyes. This is really a nice image. I, I love it, I love it. You've got their social media information on one side. And if you're new, you've got instructions on the other. Then we have, wow, that's a lot. This is the strip with all of your stickers for your kit. So this painting has 68 colors and it looks like we have one, two, three, four ABs. So that's really nice. Hopefully we'll have some, some good size bags of those, we'll see. But this is the sticker sheet. You don't have a thumbnail on it, but it tells you what it goes to. It's got the number of bags. It has the sign, you know, the symbol, and then the DMC code number. So these are little individual stickers that you can pull off and put on your containers. So yeah, 68 colors. So let's look at the drill field and see how it looks look at some of the hair first and see what symbols are in here. It actually looks pretty clear. Now, as you can see in the, the red numbered areas, the saturation is pretty heavy there, but I don't think it'll be a problem. Let's look at the skin here. Same thing with that swirly symbol right there in her skin. It's pretty intense, but I think it'll be all right because I use a light pad. Here's a different section. Let's go down in this 
feathery section. I'm curious about that because it does have a lot of red in it. It still looks as though the symbols are pretty clear though. I, I'm not seeing anything that is striking me as incredibly weird right here. Yeah. So overall, I'm pretty impressed with the symbol clarity. Once I get it on the light pad, I can kind of get a better idea. But so far, it looks pretty clear. So that is the drill field. All right. Like I said, these are rounds. I know most of his paintings are squares, um, but I think because it's a 60 by 80, it should still look really nice in the rounds. Looks like we've got some good colors in here. And obviously, because her name is Blueberry, there are a lot of blues. Sorry if you don't like the crinkle. There's always a lot of noise whenever you take them out of here. Let's see. And if you don't like the crinkle, what's wrong with you? All right. So here we have the drills. They actually look really nice. Here's some, some kind of darker ones. Oh, got a little straggler in there. But they look pretty good if you ask me. Yeah. All right. Let's go through here. We've got 152. We have two bags of 154, 155, 209, 223, 224, 304, and we've got two bags of 310. Let's see if there are any more 310s in here. I don't know. 3371, 3607. That's like a bubblegummy pink. That's pretty. 3608, 3609, 3713. 3740, 3743, very small bag of 3746, 3747, and 3750. Ooh, that's pretty. 917, 918, 930, 931, 932. We've got a very small bag of 938, 939. Love me some 995, 3041, and 3042. 600, 602, 720, 762, 775, 796, 797, 798, 799, and 800. We're getting there, you guys. We're getting there. See. 317, 318, 327, 333, 340, 341, 349, 414, 415, and 453. Four, 809, 813, 814, that's really pretty. 819, 820, 823, 826, 827, 828, and 915. So it's looking like we've got some pretty nice blues and some pretty nice pinks in here as well. Here's 3752, 3753, 3756, 3799, 3834, 3866. Oh, we've got our ABs. We have AB01. So these stand for Aurora Borealis. And as you can see, there's just a soft coating on there that makes it a little bit iridescent. It just kind of changes the color in there. I don't know if you can see that or not. So that's AB01. We've got a larger bag of AB08, which is a white color. And you can see the coating on there. We've got AB34, which is actually pretty similar to the AB01, very close. This one's just a little bit lighter. And then we have a very small bag of AB35, which looks like an orangey red, a ready orange, I guess. Yeah. So those are the ABs. 
Let's flip her back over and figure out where the ABs go. All right, here she is. So we have AB01 is going to be this little guy right here. And that's this first pack of, I don't know, kind of a lilac-y color, I guess. Goes actually quite, quite in quite a few spots on this lizard. I mean, yeah. Both the darker, like purpley lilac AB and then the lighter one. Um, they all go throughout the lizard. He's got them everywhere. So, you know, along the tail down here, they're everywhere. So you're going to see all of those kind of purpley lavender ABs in the lizard. Nowhere else on the canvas. The next color we have is going to be this one right here, which is AB08, and O is the symbol. That is going to be, if I can find it, the white AB right there. All right, all down in here, there's a whole section. There are a couple of different symbols within, but most of them are the letter O. Let's see, and then all along the edges of her wings, in those white spots, you're seeing the letter O. It's just sort of touching on the, the white spots in the wings there. Let's see, what about on this side? We have um, right across here, there's a strip, again, along the wings. And then in her hair, she doesn't have any on this side. It's only in this lighter section where she's got a bunch of strips of that white AB in there. So you can see where that is. Uh, let's see, and then in the wings over here, there are a bunch of those white ABs. Let's see what else. She does have quite a few of them going through this part of her hair as well. Let's see, there are some in her eyes and down through here. She's got a couple in her lips and then right under the lips, right down here under the chin, Cupid's bow area, a couple through the nose, and then up here there's a section. So they're definitely highlighting the skin with those ABs. But don't be scared. Like I said, um, Dreamer Designs does not have a very strong coating on the ABs, so it's gonna be very soft. It's just gonna look like a soft highlight. It's not gonna be crazy. Last but not least, we've got the very small bag of AB35, which is G. And that's this one. I have a good feeling I know where these are going to go. It's such a small bag that the only place you're gonna find these is right in here in her lips. She's got just one or two there, a couple right here, and then in the center section. So there aren't going to be any of those like ready orange ABs anywhere else except for in the lips. Um, I think the skin tone's gonna be good, but you know what? Let's look at this crazy symbol. Let's see what that is. I wanna see the really overly saturated symbol and see what color really goes there. So that symbol is actually going to be 152 and it's this kind of curly Q there. All right, so the curly Q symbol that's all up in her face, <clears throat> excuse me, that's all up in her face up here, right over here, down in this neck area, and then in portions of her arms. That is going to be this color right here, which looks much more orange in the camera, but it's, it's kind of a peachy color. And then the one next to it's going to be this one. So. You can kind of see where they're going with skin tone. I think it'll be all right. I'm not too worried about it. I'm just going to do it and go from there, but I think it'll look good. Um, so you can tell it's not nearly as crazy as the 
shading that's on the canvas. So anyways, I just wanted to show you that because I know sometimes you guys are concerned with the really heavily saturated areas on these paintings, but she's lovely. She's going to look amazing. I hope that you've liked this little unboxing and that you have a great day. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more from me, there is a subscribe button with a bell next to it. And if you'll click both of those, then you'll be notified anytime I do a new video. All right, guys, take care of yourselves. And until next time, I'll see you then. Bye.